महाराज प्रजापति प्लीज स्टार्ट ऑफरिंग की इंटू यज्ञ प्रसूति वेयर इज माई डियर मोस्ट डॉटर सती I am feeling very restless without her. She must be around Maharaj. Maharaj, auspicious timing of yagya is passing. Can you please hurry up and start offering? No, Prigomani. I can't. I really need my dear daughter to be part of this yagya. I never performed any auspicious sacrifice without her. You know very well. I am here father I was collecting special flowers for your worship Oh my dear daughter my dear sati I was waiting for you I was worried you know my yagya is incomplete without you I just wanted to please you my dear father Oh my lovely daughter it is my greatest fortune to be your father sati Sit here, my daughter. Brigu Muni, please start the yagya now. Om Tachanyora Brani Mahe Gatun Yagya Ja Gatun Yagya Pataje. Thus, you observe the love of Daksh Prajapati for his daughter Sati. He always want to have his daughter to be part of yagya ceremony. After yagya ceremony in the presence of Brahma Daksha inquired about Sati's marriage from Bhrugumuni Sati I see all your sisters are married now once I find a suitable match for you my greatest responsibility will be over Maharishi Bhrugu can you please let me know what does your astrological calculation say about sati's marriage sati hmm yes sati please tell me who will be sati's husband prajapati she will she will marry lord shiva shiva impossible impossible he breaks all rules of cleanliness he lies in filthy places like crematorium His companions are ghosts and demons. He spears ashes all over his body and his ornaments are snakes, shells and bones. His name is only Shiva, which means auspicious, but actually he is mad and most inauspicious. How can I give my daughter to him? My dear father, are you listening what Brigumuni is saying? He is saying nonsense. Taksha, my son Sati has taken her birth only to marry Shiva. She is the eternal consort of Shiva. You cannot change her destiny. But father, how can I give my daughter to that beggar? She has been raised with such royalty and affluence. She always stay in the palace full of comforts. In Kailash, there is no home. How can she stay in the crematorium with Shiva and his associates? She will not be happy. and as a father i cannot see her suffering i will ask sati what is her desire she will surely agree with her father tell me sati what do you wish tell everyone what is your real desire what what it means brigumuni is right my daughter cannot do this You cannot reject my love and trust. You cannot abandon the sanskaras that I have given to you. This is not possible. Certainly, certainly you have been bewildered by somebody. I feel betrayed by you, Sati. This is Sati's destiny, Prajapati. Thus, Lord Shiva got married to Sati despite no consent from daksha prajapati but in kailash all the followers of lord shiva are so happy and started preparation to welcome lord shiva and his eternal consort sati
Listen, listen. Our dear Lord Mahadev has got married to Mata Sati. Very soon they will be arriving on Kailash. Please, please decorate Kailash beautifully. Still, so many preparations have to be done. Mahadev will be arriving very soon with Mata Sati. Come, come. You, you get the flowers. You, you clean the ground. Make sure everything is nice and comfortable for Mata Sati. Dear Sati, this is Kailash Parvat, your eternal home. He is Nandi and these all are my eternal associates. You will always be happy here. Let me or anybody know if you need anything. My Lord, may I ask you a question? Yes, of course Sati. Why not? I see. All your devotees chant your names. But whom are you meditating upon? <laughs> you really want to know, Sati, whom I meditate upon? Shri Ram 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 Ete Rame Rame Mano Rame Sahastra Nama Tattulyam Shri Ram Naam Varanane After some time, the leaders of the universal creation performed a great sacrifice in which all the great sages, philosophers, demigods and fire gods assembled with their followers. And at that point of time, Daksha enters into assembly. Ma, Pranam Ma, So Bhagyavati Bhava Sati. Father, how are you, Father? Ayushman Bhava, my dear. Come, Daksh. Meet your son in law and everyone here. Let us begin the yagya. Yagya? Which yagya, Father? Yagya of my insult? First of all, on your order. I got my daughter married to that Shiva, against my desire. He has eyes like a monkey, yet he has married my daughter, whose eyes are just like those of a deer cub. Shiva is shameless. 
He does not know even how to behave. He does not know how to respect his father-in-law. He did not even stand up to receive me, nor did he think to welcome me with sweet words. This is my insult. Today, I, Prajapati Daksh, I am cursing Shiva. That Shiva, the lowest of all demigods, will not get the share in any sacrifice. I vow today that henceforth I will not invite Shiva for any of my yagyas, and wherever there is presence of Shiva, I will not go there. Hmm. This Daksha, this fool, has become dull. He is totally materialistic. That's why he is envious of Lord Shiva. So I curse him. He will soon lose spiritual intelligence. Seems he is attached to sense gratification, and because of this, I curse him that within a short time he will have a face of goat. And these Brahmanas, by using the flowery language of the Vedas, they preach the path of sense gratification. So I curse them; they will lose the sense of what to eat and what not to eat, and simply for satisfying their bodies, they will beg from door to door. Nandi, my dear words, how dare you insult the foremost Brahmanical race? I, Brahma Rishi Bhrigu. Curse the entire following of Lord Shiva, that they will fall down to the platform of atheism. Yes, Nandi. From now, all followers of Shiva will simply imitate Lord Shiva by growing hairs, and they will take shelter of flesh and wine. And in this way, they will corrupt the purest principle of Vedic scripture and fall down. Atheism. How dare you cursing the followers of Lord Mahadev? How dare you cursing Brahmanas? Yeah! Nande, stop here. Let's go back to Kalash. Though Daksha Prajapati, out of ignorance, insulted Lord Shiva in the assembly of demigods, still Lord remained silent. They get upset due to behavior of Nandi started cursing Brahmanas and left the assembly. After some time, Daksha asked Bhruva Muni to organize a yagya ceremony. I, Prajapati Daksh, keeping all the directions as witnesses, announcing that I will perform Vajpayee yagya. Bhruva Muni, please start the preparations in this yagya. invite everyone everyone should be called except shiv and sati seeing demigods with their wives going to attend yagya ceremony dressing nicely decorating themselves with attractive jewels mata sati is getting anxious to go to her motherland and attend yagya ceremony organized by her father Sati Sati where is your attention Sati My lord did you see everyone is going to the yagya organized by my father please let's go No Sati he has not invited us our going there is breaking of etiquettes But lord like all my sisters i also desire to decorate myself with ornaments and go there with you to participate in that assembly My dear wife you will not be honored there because you are connected to me but i am very much anxious to meet my father mother and all the relatives your father does not like me he insulted your innocent husband don't you know i know my dear lord but oh mahadev this yagya is happening at my father's home and i don't need any invitation to go there i will go alone if you don't want to come Strihat is the cause of destruction sati it will be inauspicious to you how can a father brings inauspiciousness in the life of his most beloved daughter isn't it enough that i am your husband and i am telling you this please don't worry my dear lord have faith nothing will go wrong i will return safely but you should listen to me it is impossible for you to go for the yagya 
because it will be detrimental for you detrimental you are talking as yes. he is not my father but enemy if you do not want to come i will go without you i will be respected there you do not worry your destiny is calling you it will be devastating please my lord please allow me to go hmm nandi accompany sati to her home it is your responsibility to protect her thus neglecting the words of lord shiva mata sati due to attachment of her father and other relatives she went to her motherland and entered into yagya ceremony but by seeing her being a wife of lord shiva daksha became angry pranam mother why have you come here sati why should not how can i remain peaceful and kailash when you are performing yagya i don't need any invitation to my own house daughters don't need any invitation which daughter i have not invited you to here oh i understand let's go nandi oh you learned art of acting with association of that actor sati i have no respect for your husband and he has no position in my life prajapati why are you inviting your kal 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 is servant in my house what can shiva spoil that useless being being your daughter it is my duty to maintain respect of my father and my family and that's why i have taken decision to come here for peace oh so today you worried about your father respect and peace where was the love for me when you deciding to be married with that abdut where was your concern when you made shiva your life partner if you actually love me you would not have come today like this with what expectation have you come that i will invited him and worship him on your request that i will beg with folded hands and bow down to him impossible stop father stop you cannot say like this and insult my husband why all of you are quiet how can all of you tolerate the insult of mahadev enough sati enough you are crossing your limits you have become blind in love of that shiva i prajapati daksh has invited all of them you became shameless with the association of that shameless i have not given any share composition of your husband and i have no fear from your husband enough prajapati enough i had enough criticism of my husband lord shiva he is aja shatru you have committed greatest offense against lord shiva sati sati please do not be angry look at me sati look at me i will take you back to kailash nobody will tell about anything mahadev will accept you no mother i have had enough blasphemy of my lord shiva you all must be punished for this greatest offense no no i think i should punish myself because it is a biggest curse of my life to born as dakshayani and i have to be liberate myself from this curse this body this body must be destroyed i will destroy my body hear me dev please help me to fulfill my vow please forgive me mata sati you are the wife of mahadeva i can't burn you please forgive me no agni dev it will happen at any cost that actor shiva he has trained you very nicely sati mahadev association has destroyed your sanskar why are you quiet why are you quiet i am talking to you i have no respect for your husband no fear from your husband he has no position in my life he cannot do anything to me please forgive sati please forgive all of us have mercy on us please give up this useless desire no mother i already decide to cut off my all relationship of this body which is connected to prajapati daksh all the relatives here please accept my last pranam offering obeisances to my mahadev i am destroying this body 
विद माय ओन हीट Bhrugumuni invited thousands of demigods by his yogic power. They defeated followers of Lord Shiva and threw them from Daksha Palace. By knowing that Sati is no more, Lord Shiva became angry on Daksha Prajapati. He was feeling so much pain that he couldn't tolerate the separation from his eternal consort Mata Sati. किशोर चंद्रशेखरे रति प्रतिक्षण महादेव वॉट इज दि ऑर्डर फॉर मी गोवी भद्र डिस्ट्रॉय एवरी वन इफ एनी वन ट्राई टू स्टॉप यू डिस्ट्रॉय दैम गो टेक अवे द लाइफ ऑफ दक्ष किल मै सती by accepting the order from lord shiva veer bhadra went to the place where yagya sarmani going to her he started destroy everyone and everything jata bhujanga pingala surakshana mani prabha kadamba kumkuma drava pralipta digva dhumuke madanda sindhura suratva guttaniya ne dure mano vinoda madbhutam he cut off the neck of taksha prajapati as ordered by lord shiva om namah shiva After seeing this unimaginable devastation Lord Brahma with demigods glorified Lord Shiva and request Mahadeva to be calm and forgive Daksha by hearing sweet words of Lord Brahma Mahadeva blessed Daksha with the head of a goat Daksha feeling guilty on his act and beg forgiveness from Lord Shiva Mahadev all ignorance is vanquished now darkness of ahankar is destroyed i have realized my mistake i was going down to hell because of my offenses but you show compassion by punishing me my dear powerful lord shiva please forgive and bless me please forgive me <laughs> 